Warriors opening up in a man to man and clogging the middle. Outside, Terry Woods lets it fly. It's only good for two, but it's the first 47 to play in the first half. Hollis. And we told you he could light it up. Point possession, more or less. Cougars lead seven to six, and Robinson is two out of two. Well, they'll pop out of their triangle offense, a guy out to the front, and that shot will be open. Iowa State almost takes it away from Houston again. Morris from the wing banks it off the glass and in. Chris Morris with his first. Urquhart inside the ball, fade away. And Mark Ball with his first two of the year. Die to Ball. Spinks wants to go baseline, lets it fly from five, and he hits it. Daryl Spinks. Who's the senior year leading that club? He's got good athletic ability, probably the best loser in the club. What a play! Spinks. Mack to within 15 in heavy traffic and still knocks it down. And he has the ability. I'm a fadeaway jumper. Hollis single handedly lets it fly and it comes down to Suffren. Ahead to Urquhart. Up to Mack. Three on one. Urquhart off the glass. And the Cyclones are rolling. And Pat up by seven. Mack in traffic. Dumps it off to Victor Alexander and he bangs it home. I am impressed by Victor Alexander. Leading scorer for the Cougars last season. Down to the eight minute mark. Adrian Moore lets it fly. From just in point, inside three point range. No doubt about it. that ball right in the basket. Guy I felt bad for was Dorfell. He was working so hard. Hollis with his third side of Daniels. And wide open on the other side is Cheney. Three pointer, and the Cougars hit up again. Doesn't hit it. Rebounds and goes to Mack. He did a nice job that time of just gathering. A 10 point lead. Now back to a one point advantage, and Hollis cuts it and puts Mayor going to the locker room, and he goes down behind the Houston Cougars. Robinson inside to Victor. Off the glass, comes down to Robinson, back up, misses again. Alexander! to the floor and be a good play. Houston, all of a sudden, four quick points. Hollis ball. Robinson and Dorfell both there for the zone is probably a, a result of that problem. Trying to sit back, but Cheney is real go inside. Well, the first thing against zone, you want to get a little penetration and make it move. Uh, oh, there. There it was. And oh, what a play by Sam Mack. Burkhart and Bourne, all three of them still in there. Nice feed to Mack. And Sam Mack going to run the clock all the way down, but they're not. They penetrate, take it, and get it down. Houston, 89, Iowa State. with penetration to Victor Alexander. The Cyclones tie it up, and Victor Barr brings it up. Harstad from 15. Short, Urquhart rebounds to Victor. Back to Urquhart, ahead to Dorfell. He's going to the glass, and it's in. Good job on the drive there. Uh, James Farr, he dribbles into traffic, misses the shot. Dorfell with the rebound, and Iowa State doing a super job on the board. Here's Urquhart. Got one, they got an end. Points. Johnny Orr not giving Urquhart that rest. I think he's going to sit him out right along this, as well as Roggenberg sitting. And for the side three, Iowa State leading. 13.48 to play in the first half, and Mark Ball. Let's keep in mind, the trail are actually led by 10 against Houston and lost the game. Woods from three-point range. Good pass and a three-point basket Iowa State has made this year. And they're 0 for 9 against Houston. Great defensive play by Victor Alexander. Tips it away. Woods again lets it up. Yeah. foul tips it in. Well, the Cyclones just and that got the crowd going here. Cut the lead to 8. Lead is 8. Born from 3. Team 18 points, 11 rebounds. Born 
Cuts all the way through, gives to Robinson. Nice feed to Victor Alexander. What a pass from Albert. Billy Bark, Woods, nice back, uh, bacon pass. Mack doesn't get it, but Ball does. Well, that they've been dropping people back and been contesting the ball. Burkhardt beats the cutter, Alexander. Count it. And put a foul in the book against the Blue Jays. Seven. Ball will take it. It's going to be short. Rebound, Harstad. Oh, Stop. nice steal. Oh, what a killer bucket that is. Count it. They count it. Yeah. Well, right. And here come the Jays. Far kicks it over to Ball. Doesn't get it. Rebound, Dorfell. Boy, Dorfell's having a banner night in the rebounding department. Woods open from 15, gets it. It's biggest lead. That's good news for Alexander. I'm glad we got that clarified because two different stat sheets. Three-pointer. Dorfell. Oh, what a nice play. Uh, one situation. He just penetrates, forces the man to come to him, and kicks to the corner. He got a wide open shot. Adrian has an outlet too quickly and throws it away. Here's ball. Partially deflected by Spinks, picked up by Dorfell with a rebound. Down comes Wood, stops and pops, and bangs it home. Out of bounds to the Blue Jays. Easy one, not there. Tipped away by Spinks. Lead pass up court. Urquhart, boom. <laughs> Chop that one down. That's on the high. Saturday afternoon, Iowa State plays host to the Bulldogs of Drake. Inside, nice feed from Moore to Spinks. Cutter is born. Nice play. Dorfell. Oh, what a play. He gets it and the foul. Here's Dorfell. Oh, nice move to the Treasure defense. Now, really hounding. Loose ball picked up. Adrian Moore puts it up and in. He's going to be a super player by the time he graduates. Here's a steal. Sam Mack gets the basket. And he scores here at the Omaha Civic Auditorium. The Iowa State Cyclones 88. The Creighton Blue Jays 58. Back with a final word in just a moment. set it up again and then Jackson fires and he's two of two causes the first turnover for the North Carolina State was with him at Iona too they're giving Woods the shot from out front but Elmer Robinson lights it up from three you know Frederick comes into the ball game with only a 3-3 average Terry Woods we were talking about Bart Frederick and Woods but yet it's Mac and Woods bringing the ball up and Woods hits his second three-pointer yeah, Urquhart, I think. Here to Stuckey, cuts the Cyclone lead to one. 14-13, Robinson, three-pointer. And Robinson has his second three. This time, Mack turns from 15, and Sam Mack gets a good job. Did you see him hedge right there, fake and retreat? Because they had a possibility of a two-on-one situation. Nice pass. Spence to Woods, to Urquhart for the slam. A good pass. Woods this time looking it up. Gives it up early when he should, which makes the play. And Mark Herkart is right. 7, 24, 17. Alley oop, back door. Terrell Jackson in a great pass and play. And great playing a man to man. Mack looking for room on the baseline and finds it. Mark, that's what he can. 15 for 66%. We mentioned that. Last six games between these two teams, the final score has been eight points or less. Attention. Under five to play. Born from three-point range. And Iowa State. Well, that was the 17 foul. Now he'll take it. Three-pointer. Howard. And he team fouls. Drake only six. Loose ball taken away from Rourke. Urquhart up court to Woods. Decides to give it up. Okay, and what a play. Well, the defense forced Perry. And at halftime, the Iowa State Cyclone. Robinson quickly to Mack. Baseline jumper. Alexander with a follow. Third effort's there. And Victor Alexander with only. Again, zone. Trying to match up. Lutz to Victor Alexander. And Victor is coming on strong for. Robinson just inside the circle. See the difference of getting down the court quick and getting plenty of time. 
Alexander back door to Urquhart. Nice play. Smart play by Urquhart. So out of bounds, Iowa State. Woods is open. Let's it fly. And Terry Woods is had a job that by Terry when he went. Mark Ball tries to work his way. Close. Alexander fights his way to within five and put really thought that they had busted through it. Frederick works inside, doesn't hit the gussie, and the rebound tapped out to Woods. Here's a three on two to Max. Oh, boy. Mac not only just about brought the rim down, he brought the house down. Replacing Terry Woods, giving him a breather. Here's Bates. From way down top. <laughs> and holler at him, tell him to come on, get ready. Oh, look at Spence. Point edge for Iowa State. Jackson throws it up. Rebound, Sam Rourke. Nice move. Reverse lay in, puts it up and in. And Rourke. Years. Now that his football eligibility is over, look at Victor. Oh, he's catching fire again.
each other. Bullard working against Mack inside the drive by Horton. That's the mismatch in favor of Iowa. Horton, 6'8", against Robinson, just 6'5". It will count. Goaltending will give the basket to Vic Van Mack. He is averaging six rebounds a game. Robinson, 0 for 2. Bullard the carom. Two minutes have been played. Armstrong for three. Woods will have to come out. Next into the Iowa lineup, the Jepson will lose. 19 turnovers a game. The Hawkeyes an average of 12. Inside Marvel, great pass. And a good screen that time by Brian. Between Jepson and Brig Tubbs, you'll see Brig Tubbs get a good shot at some time tonight. And they're excellent interior. And try to work it inside. Here's Ball for a three. Mark. Right now, some mismatches out there for the Cyclones. And Urquhart pumps it home. Cyclones have not gotten back well. Horn. Baugh. Elmer Robinson for three. I'll take after they've had an opportunity to score. Horn leads the break all the way. Eddie Horton just had to let him go. That's a difficult call. Iowa State down by seven on the drive by Robinson. And the tipping is good. Robinson finds Urquhart. And he put it around the outstretched hand of... A lot of space between... Followed by Horton on the miss by Bullard. The rebound is taken by Alexander, but Bullard knocks it down. For another week, Hawkeyes ranked number four or five, depending on which poll you want to look at. Sporting News has him number one. And from three-point line... They set up a double high pick. Armstrong can go either way, almost got stripped. Here is Moses. And he gets it to spin in. Shoot. Guys up by 12. Their biggest lead has been 13. Quick dish off to Mack from Spinks. Old buddy of yours holds a school record, Mack. Ben McGilmer, teammate of mine, back in the mid-60s. Marble fouls Spinks. The bucket will count. Will draws his second foul. Former high school teammate Bullard with the rebound. Moses for three. Mack with the rebound. The Cyclones push it up the floor. Here's Robinson in the middle. Nice decision by Elmer to pull up. BJ answers. Just. And Thompson comes up to help with the trap. And the 10 second violation gives the ball back to Iowa. Johnny I, Orr. I got it off. There was 44. Now the clock shows 36. Johnny Orr says, no way it's 10. He is at. Oh. And that's the horn. Shot. The shot is good by BJ Armstrong. Armstrong hits at the horn. And the Hawkeyes go to the dressing room with a lead of 11. The halftime score from Carver Hawkeye Arena as we look at the replay. Armstrong takes it from Thompson and just fades away in the corner, a rainbow. Into the first half, the score, Iowa 46. Slapped away. That is Robinson coming up with it. Ahead Woods. Robinson's really had trouble with the shooting touch tonight. He's now three out of nine from the floor. The lob for Marble. 18 and a half remains. Robinson finding Urquhart. And Mark Urquhart, who came to Iowa State on everywhere but the free throw line, where Vic Needlemack, that pass did absolutely that between two Cyclones. Alexander has it slapped away by Thompson. B.J. leads a break for Iowa. Second chance. This is drawing the foul, his first, and Iowa's fourth. Tries to answer and leaves it off the front. Urquhart leads a cyclone break. Four against three. Finds Woods. Robinson. And Iowa State. And now he is perfect in three free throw tries. And the Hawkeyes with the zone, going to make Iowa State shoot the outside shot. And Mack has had a last three shots from the floor. Garner out of control, but Horton comes up with it. And Fred Horton is... Iowa ball with 14. And the steal by Ball. Mark Ball with his 10th point. 
Robinson. And he buries the pull-up jumper. It's leading Iowa State in scoring, and then Mack has 10 and Baugh has 10. Born with the rebound for the Cyclones. Nice pass to Urquhart. And Iowa State just not shooting well tonight, Mack. Well, it's a simple opportunity there. Urquhart uses his left hand. Off. That's a high school teammates on either side of the ball. As the ball is tipped in. Products on the bench for either team. Freshman Bryant. Born misfiring. Horton leads the three on two. A Hawkeye break to Armstrong. 18 for these is a down for Iowa State. Woods is open on the left baseline. First basket for Terry. Raw gets rid of the double team. That's Woods. Alexander challenged inside by the freshman Ray Thompson. Armstrong. Basket will count, and he will have hours. I like that, Max. Six minutes remain. The three by Baugh. Alexander underneath. And Victor Alexander Thompson tries to save the long pass. Baugh comes up with it. Here's Woods. The dish off to Mack. Got a foul. Mack backing in on Bullard. And Sam's defensive player. Marvel on the spin for the turnaround, and Romo has 20. We'll get it all sorted out. We'll get back to you in just a couple of minutes, ladies and gentlemen, to let you know about that. As from the baseline, Ray Thompson misfires, but Bullard is right there to put it back. Matt Bullard. リラックスしていますか。それからえ、清水監督なんですが、ディフェンスのポジションを取りをもっと早くしろと。それからはい、山下のスリーポイントショットは決まりません。さあ、リバンドはアイオアステップ。バンドパスからラビンソン決めました。
Game one of the Cactus Classic was a nightmare for Johnny Orr Cyclones. Cal Santa Barbara came out running and they never let up the entire ball game. Carlton Davenport's 15-footer put the Gauchos on top two to nothing. Trailing five to nothing, Iowa State finally got on the board. Victor Alexander hits the fadeaway from the baseline and it was five to two. Terry Woods dished off to Mark Urquhart, who finished it off with a layup, and ISU trailed 8-4, but the Gauchos would not give in. Eric MacArthur led the way for Cal Santa Barbara with 21 points. His inside bucket made it 12-4. Paul Dorfeld returned to the Cyclone lineup after recuperating from having his appendix out following the Creighton game. Here he hits the baseline jumper, and ISU was down 18-6. Dorfeld added another nice baseline move later in the first half, and it was 23-8, Cal Santa Barbara. When Lucius Davis scored inside, the Gauchos had their biggest lead of the contest, a 19-point margin at 31-12. But the momentum started to shift towards ISU. Mark Ball with a jumper, and it was 31-14. Then Adrian Moore came off the bench to record a steal and layup, and the Cyclones were moving. Ball with another layup to make it 31-19. And then it was time for freshman walk-on Jay Goodman to come off the bench. He unloaded from three-point range. In fact, he hit a pair of three-pointers before the half ended. ISU had pulled it within five at 39-34. But Mike Elliott's three-pointer at the buzzer gave the Gauchos a 43-36 lead at halftime. Cal Santa Barbara extended its lead to 10 points at the beginning of the second half. Iowa State finally got things working. Elmer Robinson's jumper at the top of the key made it an eight-point game at 50 to 42. Goodman kept the pressure on from the outside. This was his third three-pointer of the night. It was 56-45. Later in the second half, Goodman reeled off another bomb from the three-point circle. After keeping it in play with a nice save, ISU trailed 61-52. Once again, it was Goodman dropping in a three. His fifth of the game, it was 61-55. Paul Dorfeld followed with a lay-in, and ISU had cut it to four at 61-57. But that's as close as Iowa State could get. MacArthur with a rebound and dunk, and Cal Santa Barbara was back on top by 10 at 67-57. Goodman finished the night with a career-high 23 points, but it came in a losing cause. Mark Baugh's bucket was the final one of the ball game. Final score, Cal Santa Barbara 88. Iowa State, 78. And guard, a 6'4 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois, number 32, Adrian Moore. And at guard, a 6'0 freshman from Fort Dodge, Iowa, number 12, Jay Goodman. Two new faces were in the Cyclones' starting lineup when they faced San Francisco in the consolation game. Walk-on Jay Goodman and Adrian Moore both started at guard. Victor Alexander was ill when Iowa State lost to Cal Santa Barbara, but against the Dons, Big Vic was back to his healthy, impressive form. His rebound and bucket gave the Cyclones a 5-2 advantage. Goodman proved himself worthy of a starting role right off the bat with a nice steal and layup to pull ISU to within one at 8-7. A San Francisco three-pointer made it 11-7, but Goodman answered with a three of his own, and it was 11-10. Moore dished out a nice assist to Alexander, and he polished it off with the lay-in. The Cyclones had tied it up at 13-13. Alexander then put Iowa State on top with a jumper to make it 15-13. With the game still close, Paul Dorfeld hit an inside bucket, and not it once again at 19-19. But Mark Boss sparked the Cyclones with a nice steal and layup, and it was 21 to 19. Alexander kept up the strong inside play to tie things up once again at 27-27. Goodman came through with another three-point bomb, and the Cyclones were back on top by a score of 30 to 27. Sam Mack helped keep the Cyclones on top. Here he hits the pull-up jumper to make it 45-32 Iowa State. Mike Bourne put his name into the scorebook with an inside hoop. The Cyclones had a 10-point lead at 48-38. Baugh had some nifty moves in the first half, including a spin on the drive, and Iowa State led at halftime 50-40. The second half of this ball game belonged to Victor Alexander and Elmer Robinson. Elmer with a jumper, and it was 52-40 in favor of the Cyclones. Then the next trip up the floor. Robinson with the rebound and the bucket, and Iowa State led 54-40. Paul Dorfeld added a pair of free throws, and then it was Elmer again, this time from three-point land, and ISU was off and running 59-40. to 
Alexander was the next Cyclone to put one in, and it was 61-40, Iowa State. Then some superb passing. Elmer to Victor, who slams it home, and the Cyclones have run off 13 unanswered points. But Big Vic finished the night with 23 points and 11 rebounds. This basket gave the Cyclones a 65-43 advantage. Dorfeld's turnaround jumper gave the Cyclones a 17-point lead at 68-51. Next, it was Mark Baugh's turn with a driving bucket, and it was 70 to 53. Robinson followed moments later with a pull-up jumper, and Iowa State had a commanding lead of 74 to 55. Moore was doing a nice job of getting the ball inside all night long. Here he finds Robinson for the lay-in, and it was 76-55. Another nice combination was late in the game when Terry Woods fed Sam Mack for the dunk, and Iowa State was in control, 84-62. Mike Bourne added a three-pointer before Mack got into the act again. This time, he really slams one down, but when he tried to protect himself by hanging on the rim, he was slapped with a technical, and Johnny Orr had plenty to say about that. Hughes Suffren scored his first two points in a Cyclone uniform when he hit a pair of free throws down the stretch. It was 95-68. Mark Urquhart dished off to Darrell Spinks for the bucket to make it 97-70, and it was freshman Brian Pearson recording the final Cyclone bucket of the game, coming on a steal and lay-in. And ISU wins it easily. The final score, 99-73. And the Cyclones come away with a loss and a win at the Cactus Classic in Tempe, Arizona. This is Jeff Connor reporting for the Johnny Orr Show. Then roared back with a dozen. Here's Dorfell with a steal. Slaps it away to Goodman. Up court to Dorfell. He'll stop. Hits Moore in the lane. Adrian Moore. Adrian Moore did not. Oh, looks like Iowa State playing inside with uh, maybe that triangle and two defense. And, then, uh, and Victor Allen. At two apiece. You and I with the advantage leading 8 6. Goodman pulls up and throws it home. And what a. It's usually a pressure to get a starting ball. He gets a little complacent. Game tied for the fourth time, but it's broken right there with a. The he said, I'm not worried about Iowa State. I'm worried about ourselves. Nice bounce pass into Moore. Good pass, but a little guy heat for the season. Yeah, 74% from the line, which is indicated they've got some shooters. Was the Chicago Sun Times All Stater averaged 17 points and 10 rebounds in high school? Robinson open on the inbounds and oh, oh, follows it up and in. Oh, just gone to that strike nine times so far. Hit eight. Oh, Spinks, eight. nice move. Oh, Adrian Moore. Oh. And they bring it back out. Inside now to Reese. A feet away. And it's small net. Bench, Elvin Miller play about nine guys. Elmer Robinson. Oh. I think it was in the second. Spinks cannot stop Jason Reese. And Reese has his sixth. Robinson fires. That's a three-pointer. And Elmer Robinson has just turned it over again. Alley-oop. Baseline. Nice give and go. Oh, what a pretty play. Steve Fife. Been a great ball game so far, Gary. Certainly has. Ball from three points. It's there. And that's Baugh's only fourth three point. And here's Fight. Off the heel of the rim. Goodman comes down with it. Decides to pull it up. Feeds Bourne from three point range. Well, he seems to have gotten it back a little. The Cyclones. Under seven to go first half. Turner launches. And it's all net. And again, a three pointer. A little long on the first two, Johnny Orr. This is a pair. Alexander comes up with a rebound, and what a big basket that was. Cutter, Bourne, I think that pass was intended for Spinks. And tonight at 38. Four and a half minutes to go first half. Alexander firing. Ball, far side rebound, back up and in. Iowa State doing some damage now, finally, on the offense. 5-42 UNI lead. Mark Urquhart into Johnny Orr's lineup now. And Mike Bourne is hot tonight. Ahead to Urquhart, stolen away by Muhlenberg, and the shot, no good. Boy, it looked good from here, didn't it? Oh, didn't it? 
What a long day. Johnny Orr takes a deep breath, as does Elden Miller. And this one is a long way from being over. Well, stand by. We'll be back with an interesting halftime program in just a moment. Up with the left hand and was able to get it off the glass. Alley oop inside. Up and in for Victor Alexander, and the Cyclones have to do just the ball game. Robinson moves open and drills it home for two. Robinson with a dozen in the ball game. His first hands wanted a foul there because Jason Reese was on the back of Victor Alexander. up the inside. Cyclones regain the lead. Here's a seesaw battle that's been tied at least 15 times. Alley oop to Robinson. But he can't get the shot to fall. And you and I still with a one point lead. Oh, oh, what a play. What a play by Cedric McCullough for the slam. And he lost his balance, tried to throw it away. Muhlenberg saves it. Good ball. Steals it. Heads up play by Bourne. Here's a three on two. Goodman pulls up from three. No good. Robinson. Alexander. That's what Iowa State has to do as they speed up the tempo. They don't get the go can go up by six or seven. And it's the Panthers that are getting out and running pretty well here. And Muhlenberg again. Three ball to him. Now hits Robinson on the wing. Cutters, Urquhart. Rebound, loose ball. This is the kind of tempo I think Iowa State needs to be in. And rebound. He cut clear from the other side to get the rebound. Brings it back out. Urquhart stops and fires. Well, one of the co-captains for Iowa State this year, Mark Urquhart. That ball delivered just a little late that guy, but he gets it. And he gets fouled. Mike Bourne, a shot on the move. Ends up with it. Here's up the numbers. Two. Urquhart feeds to Robinson. No basket. Alexander cleans it. Good job by a guy. 6'10 right there. Victor Elm outside. Goodman needs help. Tipped away. Stolen by Northern Iowa. Lead pass up court. Easy alley. Oh, what a block from behind by Max. Max steps it from behind. Here comes the Cyclone. Spinks takes it from the baseline and hits it. What a turnaround right there. Turn it. The second technical of the night on Elvin Miller. The second technical on Elvin Miller. He may get a third because he's kicking the scorer's table. He's outside the box. Well, this is what the officials did. That's two by Matt. He goes up to the baseline and it's all fine. Well, they dived uh, for the steal, didn't they? Iowa State goes inside to Robinson. And he left hands it up and in. Two minutes to go. Real important right here. You're in the one-on-one -on -one situation. They get the pick and get the basket. Terry Woods cuts on the baseline at the clock. Jason Reese with his 17th point of the ball game. Woods, nobody picks him up, so he lays it in. That's the third three-point basket for Troy Muhlenberg tonight, but Victor Alexander hits it up. Remaining yet, I don't know. Here's the last shot of the game by Turner and Long Paul. And the final score, Iowa State 88, Northern Iowa 80. Elmer Robinson had 18 tonight, Victor Alexander 14, Mike Bourne 19 to lead the way. Well, that's going to do it. On behalf of Gary Thompson, this is Mark Matthews saying, hope you enjoyed tonight's game. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you Monday night right here. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Cyclone Television Network. is also in the Kansas lineup. And here's a steal by Pritchard. Pritchard driving against Alexander. He scores and he's fouled. Swarming and trapping around that ball with great effectiveness. From the corner, the jumper is good. And they need Illinois. Went to Illinois at 34. Sam Mack didn't get it. Woods takes it in among the Giants. Won't go. Tapped up on it. They were really working hard. That ball just missed pass. Here's a three-pointer, and it's good by Elmer. Long pass down underneath, and the snowbird underneath.
right there for the score. Gelder. Before. The jumper put up. It's the 92nd season of basketball here in Lawrence. This steal and drive by Mark Ball. State. Got to give Iowa State kids a lot of credit. Oh, and Bourne finds clear sailing in underneath. There, there, great. Got Barry in the corner for a three-pointer. Yes, sir. Man has three points. Miner takes it in the lane. Doesn't get it. He puts it up off the glass and scores it. It's good. And it's all over. Roy Williams Jayhawks go to 12 and 1, win their big eight encounter opener here against Johnny Orr's Cyclones, who now are 7 and 4. The final ends it. playing a 2-3 zone. Woods from three. Switch! Or rather, Robinson on the far side of rebound. Ahead to Woods, over to Urquhart, back to Robinson. Nice play! And a blocking foul. Woods left open, just inside three. And he's got two on the two. Ahead to Woods. One thing you can see about the Flames, they're getting back quickly, and Iowa State hasn't been able to get its transition game going yet. It's the rebound. Woods now, quickly up court. Coast to coast, Alexander for the slam. All year from Terry Woods, a lot of penetration. Now watch the fine, fine pass here. Under the arm, Victor is wide open up for the stuff and gets fouled on the way up. He'll go for three. Cyclones will be home Wednesday night. Born three-pointer. Three on one, and Freeman turns it over. Woods comes up with it, ahead to Urquhart, and he lays it in. Goodman hands off to Moore, driving to the hoop, misses it, but Victor Alexander's there. On half court, and the Cyclone should have somebody open. And Moore do that. Nice pass. Robinson took it, Bourne rebounds, puts it up, Urquhart tries, and goes for For Iowa State. And Woods on the drive again. Bounce past Alexander with the same result. Seven seconds left to play for the way Iowa State played at Kansas. Ball on the drive. A halftime show in just a moment, so don't go away. Iowa State ball out of bounds. Bourne tries to go into Robinson. Does. It was stolen away, and then Bourne slapped it. Oh. Robinson, three-point land. First three of the night for Elmer. Inside, nice feed from Bourne to Urquhart. There's the ball move. And now it's a five-point ball game as Victor Alexander finally comes through. Where is he? Johnny Orr just had time out and told him how to work against the press, and Mike Bourne's dribbling it when he took the pass it. Ball game, 44-37. Inside. Now, up court to Spinks, gives it to Urquhart. Nice pass to Robinson. By Hill. Long three-point bomb. Oh, he drills it. Corwin Hunt. That one is it. And the final score here at Hilton Coliseum, Iowa State over Illinois, Chicago, 111 to 93. Back with the final word in just a moment.
to like what he sees, does Coach Miller. Alexander again with some soft touch. And now we're at halftime. Iowa State is trailing at home, 38. Especially, I think, with Iowa State mm -hmm. running their offense. Oh, a nice, nice three-pointer for Wise. That Great job, offensive rebound. He has 17. Boring for three. When you start, Morton recognizing his shooter, Vandiver, and boy, you have to love his range. Nine-point cushion for Colorado. Elmer Robinson and the foul against Becker. They're milking that clock now. It's a steal by Ball. Count it and the foul. That's it. Now they'll get it into him. Robinson down on the blocks. Negotiates. Gets the roll. 20 seconds left. No timeouts remaining. Here comes the, the overplay. The double teams. Robinson rejected. Out of bounds. Iowa State. One second left. Horn must launch it. Ooh. He's taking control. The I thought they put House in the ball game. He hasn't lost a jump ball this year. Nice pass to Ball from Robinson. Boy, Elmer has taken. Loretta. They had a Final Four team in 1955. 